And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Well, thankfully, we are not staring down the barrel of any of that winter weather here, Andrew, but we do have a cool down on the way. Yeah, and we do have the other side of the coin for that storm system. We have a severe weather threat here in East Texas on our day Thursday. Here's a look at the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. We have an enhanced risk in the orange level three out of five. That's when we start to see the severe weather become more likely uh, as opposed to severe weather possible down into the slight risk area in the yellow, which uh, encompasses the rest of our area. So this is something I'll be watching for very closely. Definitely want to stay weather aware, especially the further north and east you go across the area. In terms of our severe weather threats, it's 70 mile per uh, 70 mile per hour wind gusts as the primary concern here, and followed by large hail could be up to the size of golf balls for us. We see the chance for tornadoes and some flash flooding as well, but those threats are a lot uh, lower, but still not zero. So definitely something to keep an eye on. As we take a look at what Futurecast has through your Thursday morning, we'll see some showers and thunderstorms potentially developing as early as 9 10 o'clock in the morning along the interstate 30 corridor. That activity is unlikely to be severe, but could be a bit on the stronger side of things. And then as we head into the afternoon, we'll watch for any additional thunderstorm development out there because those storms will be capable of large hail, damaging winds and maybe a tornado. Eventually, a line of thunderstorms is going to develop across the area and push on through along the leading edge of that line. We'll have the wind uh, gust threat up to 70 miles per hour. And then after about three o'clock or so, the line of storms, they're out of here, but we will see periods of heavy rain continue into deep east Texas. It's a cold rain, though, heading into your Friday morning. And then during the Friday uh, morning hours, we'll gradually dry things out, but temperatures will only be climbing into the upper 40s and low 50s Friday afternoon. Current look at temperatures right now. We've got 56 in Henderson, 55 in Tyler, 54 in Mineola. We've got lots of sunshine to go around so far. Uh, Lufkin coming in at 57 degrees, so it is a comfortable uh, late morning for us, especially when you consider the amount of sun that we are seeing at this moment. The normal high temperature right now is 70 degrees and we'll be around or around 70 degrees and we'll be around there today and tomorrow. But look what happens into the weekend and next week. We see a long stretch of temperatures well below average for this time of year, so winter makes one final push for us. We are going to see those highs only in the 50s through the weekend and into next week. Some days having high temperatures only in the low 50s out there. This will also lead to the potential for a morning freeze in our northern areas, so we'll have to watch that pretty closely. It's not a guarantee though at this point, and one of the reasons why we're not guaranteed to freeze is the fact that we will have some clouds to work with during the overnight hours. And when you have clouds overnight, they sort of act like a blanket and prevent some of that heat from escaping. And overall, cloudy nights tend to be warmer than nights with clear skies. Back to today though for the Longview Kite Festival that's happening this afternoon from noon through about six o'clock uh, this evening over uh, in Longview. We are going to see very pleasant weather uh, for us. So perfect kite flying weather as winds today will be out of the southeast at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tonight, we will see clouds on the increase. It will be pretty mild overnight as temperatures drop down to the upper 50s. Winds will also increase out of the south at 15 to 20 uh, miles per hour. So get your kite flying in for the day on Wednesday because we've got a beautiful day. Don't do it Thursday because of thunderstorms unless you're Benjamin Franklin, of course, and then we will see some showers continue into Friday. We are a lot colder for the weekend. Even as we turn to spring, temperatures are going to stay below average, and then for deep east Texas, we have more of the same. For your latest weather forecast, you can go to our website. That is KETK.com.